welcome everyone farmer cop here so we are going to go over how to start a uh, multiplayer session um, without a dedicated server so that's what we're going to talk about no dedicated server for this this is just how to set one up just the basic the most basics of ways if you have questions drop them down below in the, in the chat i'll be happy to try to answer those as best as possible um, this is how i do all my multiplayer stuff pretty much except for obviously i have a rented server you can rent a server and we'll talk a little bit about that you can rent a server if you want to go that route but the easiest way to go about doing multiplayer and this is on pc i don't know how it works for consoles this is all about pc i'm on pc that's what this is about so um, on here this is just the main loading screen for farming simulator 19. if i hit this multiplayer button i can either join a game and then i could be farmer cop hit continue and it says please wait connecting to the server and then I can choose which one. So you need to know if your friend has a server, you need to know if they're on International, International 2, Germany, Germany 2, Continental Europe, or Continental Europe 2. Um, I usually just use International, but yes. Um, depending on where you're at, you might want to use one of the other ones, but anyhow. So you need to choose one of these and then it'll connect to that server. And then you can look for different games and different stuff like that. Um, that was one that we were on for the uh, multiplayer live stream stuff going on there. But anyhow. You can look for different stuff and adjust some of the stuff you're looking for. So all maps, you look for a specific map that you have installed. Uh, so like it'll start showing up maps that I have installed on here. Uh, all languages, English and or German or everything else. Max players, you can turn that down if you want to change that all the way up. Uh, password on or off, no full games on off. So it'll show games that are full or not full on here. Only installed mods DLC on off. So it'll only show games that have your mods that you have installed currently. And you can always hit space to hit details and it'll show you all the mods that are in there. And stuff like that so anyhow we'll hop out of there now we're going to go create games so we're in a dedicated server is if you want to have a dedicated server that's always up and running so you don't have to be playing on that game to have it run because if i create my own game and it'll go into your game your save game screen if i create my own game then i have to be on my game online playing or at least have it up and running on my computer um if other people are gonna be able to join it the moment i log off people can't jump onto that server so i'm just gonna hit uh, new and you can you can't do new farmer you notice in here you can't do new farmer if you're starting a game on here now be careful you can use one of your existing game saves to start it up and it'll put every single thing you have on that game save into one farm but anyhow so i'm gonna go in here and we'll just do start from scratch be fine we'll just do felsbrun farmer cop perfect and now i'm gonna be able to select the mod so um let's say i want this mod the Agra's land trade additional game settings um uh, one that we probably should have is like easy dev tools stuff like that but anyhow you can you can change what you want on here or not where's that one easy dev tools um right there so i'll put that one on there but yeah and then other people have to have all those mods to join and they have to have the exact same version that you have so if they have an updated or an older version um it won't work so it continue and then i can do fc live multiplayer that was the password i had for last one so i can change that I can adjust any of the other settings, but this is mainly a thing you want to look at adjusting. So I'm going to pick a name that people can search for, pick a password for people to use, or I can leave it clear. Auto accept on or off. Uh, I usually put it on on because that means if they have all this information, it'll automatically put them in versus me having to say yes every time. Auto save on or off. You can turn it on or off. You can change the uh, language in here if you want to. I'm going to go back to English. English right there. Um, and the internet connection, other stuff like that. I don't know a lot about the other settings. I'm just gonna tell you some of the basic stuff. Now notice this goes two, all the way up to eight, then back to two. Uh, you can leave this set of anything on here. Now I normally have 16 people in my multiplayer server, or I can have up to 16 people. You might ask how I do that. So we'll talk about that. So you have to join the game, start the game off with eight people. It will connect. I'm gonna choose just international. It's gonna create our game. So please wait for the game to be created and it's gonna get it all set up. And again, this is just to give you a quick overview on some of the basic stuff of setting that multiplayer. So that's just kind of the way it's gonna be. So give it a second on here and we'll talk about a couple of things once we get loaded in uh, before we wrap up the video. Again, not gonna be a super long video, just a quick video to show you some of the basic stuff here. We will talk about some of the different stuff as far as setting up different farms and stuff like that in multiplayer. And I can't even think off the top of my head the, the max number of farms you can have at one time, but we'll, we'll see if we can take a look at that here in a second as soon as it gets us loaded in. Uh, but remember how, oh, here we go. We can hit start, go in here. All right, we're in a multiplayer game. So we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, is required for it. Is it mod hub? Yeah, that's, uh, okay. Oh, I'm not gonna use that, I'm not gonna worry about it. So if I go into the menu here, it says create a new farm. There's no farm here, so I can hit create a new farm. I can name it whatever I want. I can make a password to join it. And there you go, I can choose one of these colors. So I'll just choose pink or whatever, it doesn't matter. Then I can do another one and you see there's one less. So the total you can have is eight farms. Um, and you can have any number of people on any of these farms. You'll start them all off with $500,000. And then after you have a farm, I can hit join farm, delete farm, edit farm. I can edit it. 
um, or I can join this one. So I'll join that one. Now, if I go into, let me see if I can find it, down here, server settings and game settings. So hit X, open up server settings, auto accept. You can adjust that and you can adjust the names of stuff in here as well as the password. Now here's where max players, I can bump this up to 16 before it knocks me back down to two. So now I can bump it up to 16, hit save, and it's gonna have that. And I can adjust a lot of the different settings in here uh, so you can see all that. So this is mainly the screen that you're gonna see that's different is these two screens up here uh, when you're in a multiplayer game. Now. I'm a farm manager. I'm the admin for the server. The admin is only going to show up for the person that's the admin. I can dismiss this farm manager, but I think I can also promote myself to be a farm manager because, yeah, it is what it is. Now, normally, if you have people on here, you can either make them farm manager or they have access to all this stuff, or you can select what they're able to do. So you can select and make sure people can either buy vehicles, sell vehicles. So if you have people that are just joining randomly, you may not want them to have the, the ability to buy and sell vehicles on your farm. You can have buy or buy, sell placeables, reset vehicles, hire assistants, so they can hire workers, basically manage contracts, which means they can do interface with the contract screen um, or trade animals. So buy and sell animals, create fields, landscaping. You can adjust all these things and kind of control what people are able to do. Um, and also you're able to give other people on other farms permission to do different stuff on your farm as well so um, it gives you some different integrations with that uh, but that is most of what you need to know as far as everything goes now i can access the easy development tools not everyone will be able to access them and you can't always access all the features on it depending on what your role is on the server but i'm admin so i'm able to access it so i can add and remove money as i needed to so if i want to do set that up i could do that and then again if i go back over to here i can now i can join that farm yep so i lost my permissions there and i'm over on this farm now and that farm has all the money still if you buy a vehicle over here it'll stay over there with that farm versus on this farm and if i'm on this farm i can't drive that vehicle it's just in standard the way it's set up now if i do uh save this game so i'm going to say if i save it and then if i quit the game if i quit out it's going to give you guys a black screen here for a second before it loads up so if i quit out my game is going to load back up here in just a second it's quitting me to my main menu Give it one second here, it's still loading. It's taking forever, there we go. Okay, and it should be showing up for you guys, there we go. So, now if I go back into career mode in single player and I go to that game save, which is right here. Now if I hit continue and I start the game again, what I've basically done, and you have to be careful with this, if I now start this game up in single player, so don't start it up in single player unless you want this to happen, what it is going to do is it is gonna take all of the farms, so if I hit start now, this farm multi gear have been merged into a single farm. So after saving this game, will become a single player permanently. So if I save now, I'm gonna hit okay, I don't care about that. If I save the game on here, it will permanently merge those two farms. There's no farm menu. So it's taken, if you look up in the corner, we had 5.5 .5 million in one farm and, and half a million in another farm. It's merged those amounts to make 6 million for one farm. So again, it's merged them. Now, if I save the game, it's permanently merged. Those farms are permanently together. So all the vehicles, all the buildings, all the land, all of the finance, everything, that each of those separate farms had is now merged. So just be careful of that. Make sure you only start it up in multiplayer unless you want to have it merged like that. Uh, but that is basically everything. Those are just some of the basics for setting up a multiplayer game on PC. I'm assuming it's probably similar on console, but again, this is focused on PC. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful in any way, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.